I'm speaking here with Monty at Dave Mackey Engineering, and um, I like to build motors, but I'm telling you, the products he has on his table here are beyond anything I could imagine. Can we go through some of these products to see what you have? Sure. Well, I guess we're standing in front of a couple of heads. What do what these heads fit on? What this is, is it's a twin cam. Uh, you know, it's a 103. This particular model is a stroker model, which is going to be a 4 and 3 8 bore. Oh, I'm sorry, 4 and 3 8 stroke. Okay. And um, what it does is, what we do is we take a stock Harley flat top design and we turn it into this near spherical piston and head design that Dave Mackey Engineering has come up with. Why do you call it a mid spherical design? Well, because it has this reverse dome. Ah. So, and what that does is it creates a little ball. It forces everything to the center of the head and um, it creates a, like a little ball on the center of the piston to where all the downforce is on the center of the piston. It's not rocking around like on a conventional flat top. How does that make more power? It makes more power because it's squishing everything as far as a wedge to the center and the turbulence is so great, it's mixing and atomizing the fuel so incredibly that it's much more efficient than a regular flat top. So you're burning more fuel and you're putting more air in it. Exactly. Okay. That's what makes motor go fast, right? Well, yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> for the most part. That and a lot of compression. Okay. We bump oh, okay. up the compression and then uh, we have our cam design to um, co coordinate with as far as compression wise for what What compression you. can you safely run on the street with this gasoline we're getting out today? Well, California gas is not so great to be nice about it. Uh, we go on a 103, the compression gets up there, we go 10 and a half to one. Uh, 95 inch build, which is a common build, is about 10 to one. And out of state, with better gas, what can you do? If you got better gas, we can put the compression where you want, you know. Um, some people, elevation wise, um, you have the column of air when you're regarding as far as, you know, uh, elevation versus sea level. So the lower the sea level, the more greater pressure, the more ram effect it creates inside that motor. There's been a lot of discussion today from other these riders and some of these other, I guess, motor builders that um, like the 2007 and beyond Harleys have a huge problem with that rear cylinder overheating. Um, have you heard that also? Yeah, it's generally with all bikes, it's just because the front cylinder does most of the work. It's due, due to the single crank pin design. Um, if you have a good tuner and if you start doing this kind of effect to it, then you can, you can help that out. See, that was my question. I was told also that, um, tell me if this is right, that to, to meet emission standards, they have to run them very lean. Exactly. Is that true? Yeah, exactly. And if you fatten them up with a new chip, and am I right? Yeah. You can make them run cooler. Cooler, more efficient. More efficient. Okay. All right, so we, we have some other stuff here. It seems to me, is this your design on the piston? This is Dave's design. JE does the forging for us because we think they're right. the best. Right. Yeah. And uh, what it is, is it's that three, 360 degree near spherical design, meaning it's uh, almost comparable to a Hemi. So we complement the head to match the piston. And what it does is it squishes everything, creates a wedge effect. It squishes everything to the center, like I was saying, and it puts all the downforce in the center of that rod. That makes sense to me. Now, imagine when you, you're pushing all this fuel into this motor, do you have to have some other system to push the fuel, like a better fuel pump? Exactly. Uh, well, more like a tuner, engine management system. Do you have anything like that? Uh, we don't, but there's companies out there that do. There's well, several. There's Power Commander, there's TTS, the Screaming Eagle, Harley has their brand. I'm looking to the left, and I'm seeing a cylinder over here. That's a, a that's a huge slug. What is that? That's a Jim cylinder. That's a 131. Jim's is our neighbors. They're our friends. Uh, so we help promote their product. That's big. That's big. I've come around the table and I see these beautiful pieces of metal. I think they're cranks. I think they're rods, but tell me what they are. <laughs> this is a stroker set of flywheel. This is a big one. This is for the Jim's 131. This is a four and five eight stroke. That with the large bore that Jim's has, they design their piston and cylinders, it creates a 131. Um, it's a nice flywheel set, uh, comparable to the Screaming Eagle, it's just a longer stroke, more leverage. Stock Harley is a four inch, four and five eighths. We have a four and three eighths stroke over here. Okay, can I ask you this? Because I know you know motors. I have a problem understanding what a stroker is, and okay. I know most of my friends don't know. Can you explain it to us? Yeah. What is a stroker motor? Stroker means it's a they move the crank pin out 
Okay. It's like a small wrench. You have a small wrench, and then you have a longer wrench. You have more leverage. Okay. So what it does, they shorten up the rod. They extend the crank pin, single crank pin design, like we talked about. And um, it creates more power, not only bumps up the compression, um, and you coincide with cylinder pressure, but it creates more leverage. Okay. Well, I want to thank you for this time. I've learned, well, a little bit, because I'm not that smart, but appreciate you talking to us, Monty. No problem. All right. Thank, thank you. you.